Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 9. Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 9. Who can say, I have made my heart clean? I am pure from my sin. Amen. Praise the Lord. Who can say, I have made my heart clean? I am pure from my sin. Amen. Praise the Lord. Before I get into all the su supporting scripture for this, yesterday I, I had a visit at my front door from uh, a group of uh, uh, people who uh, uh, do their best to follow God and they knock on doors and they tell us about how uh, pure living is going to be what saves us. And, um, you know, I, I pray for them because there is nothing we can do to make ourselves pure from our sin even if they say well god cleansed us from our sin with jesus on the cross but now it's our job to get it right they're sorely mistaken because it's just not going to work who can say i've made my heart clean i am pure from my sin job 14 verse 4 job said who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean no one job 25 4 job says how then can man be righteous before god or how can he be pure who is born of a woman we are born in sin uh, we came out of our mother's womb in sin god cleansed us when we got we believed and got baptized but we still have flesh so we still sin and how can we get rid of that flesh we cannot philippians Chapter 2, verses 12 and 13 says, Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but how much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you to both to will and to do for his good pleasure. Amen. We couldn't save ourselves and we cannot keep ourselves or make our, ourselves any cleaner uh we we have this flesh that's got to be dealt with and the bible set, tells us that god will have war with amalek which is our flesh from generation to generation he is the one who started the good work he is the one who must finish this work when we think that we can somehow make ourselves better it says with fear and trembling because all we're going to do is cause ourselves to get into some difficult situations so that God can prove to us we cannot save ourselves or cleanse ourselves. It's a trivial, a very tr troubling journey when we try to be righteous on our own. The, what God, I believe, wants for us all is to believe that he who began a good work in us will complete it and walk with him. Take his yoke upon us because his burden is easy or his yoke is easy and his burden is light and learn from him, walk with him, and he will take care of the work as we've been hearing over and over again. Praise the Lord. It's his work for so that he gets the glory and no one else. Ezekiel chapter 36 verses 24 through 30 makes it very, very clear. God says, for I will take you from among the nations, gather you out of all the countries, and bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgments and do them because he's the one doing it then you shall we shall dwell in the land that he gave to our fathers we shall be his people and he will be our god he will god says i will deliver you from all your uncleannesses i will call for the grain and multiply it and bring no famine upon you and i will multiply the fruit of your trees and the increase of your fields so that you need never again bear the reproach of famine among the nations amen praise the lord heavenly father we thank you for this word we ask you to to give us revelation and grant us repentance if we are trying to be righteous on our own trying to live a godly life to be good on our own strength that is denying you who said that you would do it 
Give us the faith to believe that you gave us that new spirit. You gave us that new heart. And if we let go, you will work in us. You will cause us to walk in your ways. You will get the glory for it. We will not be able to stand in the judgment on our own righteousness. We will not judge other people because we will now see clearly that none of us can be good without you. And help us all do this, Lord. Help us not claim that we made ourselves anything because we are not, we cannot. All are born in sin, every one of us. And help us recognize this. Give us the revelation. Help us let go and enter your rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord.